angry guy here, and black men have humbled black women. Black men have humbled black women. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already didn't, like the video, and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. So black men have humbled black women. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. And he says, do you think he focused too much on work? You reply, well, what's the woman supposed to do? These men don't provide. The last generation, they messed everything up for us. And they told everybody, get a uh, get an education. Don't worry about a man. That's an example of a defensive response. Instead of answering the question, people mess it up all the time. You're just fumbling all over the place. Fumbling and stumbling, bumbling around. Okay, then you blame the other person talking about they too this and they too that. You, you were aggressive. Okay. <laughs> They were misogynistic. When they ask you a question, ma'am, they ask you a question. And that's why they start saying, ma'am, because you act in big dog. Okay, you want to be big dog? You ma'am now. Ladies, please be honest. Please start being honest. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, you know, when I was in school, I should have been looking around a little bit more. Yeah, you know, when I did pass up. Yeah. If a man is, is looking at you like he is already attracted to you and he's asking you questions like this because he actually, you know, wants to get to know you and where your head's at, wants to get to know your mindset. The best thing you can do is be accountable, be honest, be clear, be direct. Because because you might be insecure. You did pass up on something good. You did. You did focus on work. You did take them seriously when they told you that you can't trust a man, that you got that you got to get your own because you can't trust him to take care of you. And you feel a little insecure because now in your position, now you feel like you got to catch up. That's something that you need to be able to come to terms with on your own so that you're not projecting your insecurity into that relationship. Come on, y'all. Get it together. You know, guys, it's amazing what we're seeing here right now. We're seeing the consequences of feminism, the consequences of women thinking that they could do it all on their own, of black women coming with that masculine energy after they were warned countless times by black men that they don't like that masculine energy. It's not just black men. Men don't like that masculine energy. They don't want that masculine energy in their life. They don't want a woman to bring that masculine, that aggressive, disrespectful energy into their life. They don't want that. And now women are seeing the consequences of feminism, the consequences of saying, oh, I had to go and get a degree. I had to go and do these things, taking zero accountability. I had to go to medical school. I had to become an attending. I had to do all of these things because if I didn't do these things, then I wouldn't have been able to survive. And you don't know how hard it is to be a black woman in society today. Well, guess what? Guess what, ladies? All these other women around the world who are fit, feminine, and friendly, they didn't do any of those things. They prioritize finding a relationship. They prioritize building a family. They prioritize these things. And that's the reason why they're stepping in and taking the men that you did not want. You, and the crazy thing is these same women that were becoming doctors and lawyers and everything else, they were still out there in the streets. They were still out there messing around with Chad and Tyrone. Okay. They were calling these dudes up, getting their back blown out countless times. You think these are virgins? These are not debt-free virgins. These women have high, high body counts, okay? They've dropped more bodies than Master Chief dropped, the, dropped in the covenant versus the covenant, okay? They have high body counts. It's not a game with these ladies. And now they're, fa now they're you know, facing down the barrel of middle age, and they don't want to take any accountability. And you can see this right here. She made a very good point. A lot of men are now, okay, okay ma'am, you know? Okay, sir, you know, because because now you're acting like, yeah, big dog. You come with that masculine energy. Men are now speaking to you like, you're, like they're speaking to a man because they're tired of it. They're absolutely tired of the games. Guys, you know what's happening in Western society right now? I never knew this. I had no idea because I said that with the white guys, it was only going, you know, when they started to jump into the whole passport bro thing, that's when it was really going to take off. And it is. But I want to tell you something about the white guys. And this is something that I saw recently. You know, white, white and Asian marriages in the United States make up 25% of all marriages, even though Asian women only account for something like 8.2% of all marriageable females in the U.S. 
It's 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 cr it's crazy. So what that basically means is that even though they are one of the smallest populations available of marriageable women, white men are predominantly marrying uh, Asian women at a, at a, at the highest rate versus any other group, you know, outside of uh, other white women, and it's growing rapidly. It's absolutely growing rapidly. This shows that in the white community, these men have been replacing their wives, have been replacing, uh, you know, white women in the in the in the in, the, in their communities with Asian women for years, and it's only accelerating. And as these young men start to go overseas and marry overseas, there that's it's only going to get more serious. But if you look at the black community with the password bros, correction, passport kings. These men are picking up, and what they're doing is they are replacing the entire community. They are replacing these women. They've abandoned, they've abandoned these communities. There's nothing left there. That's why Tyrone is pissed off. That's why Keisha is furious. Because these men have picked up and they have abandoned these communities. They will form new and they will build new empires around the world. They will build new empires. That's what's gonna happen with these men. They will build new empires. They are replacing that community. Modern day women don't realize what they've lost and they're sitting here with that masculine energy like, I don't care, I don't care. I told y'all, these women will live in a storm drain and, and you know, keep, you know, stay on that, that, arrogant, that arrogant stuff with that masculine energy. And they, won't, they, they will never come off it. They will never leave it alone, okay? They will, they will stay on that train until the end of their days and, he, and, and, and say that, you know, they they don't care. You know, they're, they're fine being by themselves and everything else until they start to panic and go and get absolutely ballistic that they need a man and they start blaming man. They start blaming feminism. They'll blame Jesus Christ. They will blame God before they take an ounce of accountability for anything that they have done, for the poor decisions that they made, the bad decisions that they made to prioritize a career, to, to, to demonize their men, to let to to have Tyrone running around that community, Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, Enrique, Miguel, Pancho, little Pancho, you know, Pancho. Everybody looks at Pancho and they think that he's funny. Oh, little Pancho with his big with the big belly, always drinking tequila and you know the broken English, you know, because he knows a few words. But you don't understand. You don't know how many fa how many children Pancho has fathered in the black community. You really don't think about that. All right, these men have run wild for decades, tormenting and to tormenting and destroying. They they have terrorized these communities, terrorized these communities. And men and and the black men in these communities that are, are sick and tired of it. The men who are educated, have jobs, work hard, can speak multiple languages, have actually built something for themselves, actually have some type of essence and personality. For example, you know, guys who have like enjoy music, you know, that have our are like anime or books or manga or you know movies or they they have some type of something or they have you know they're called geeks or whatever. These are the interesting guys. Okay? Some dudes who sit around all day just hitting a blood, hitting a blood and playing gangster rap. Those are not men. Who wants to be around those types of people? Those guys have no culture or class. Like in the real world, these people bring nothing to the world. They look at YouTube. At, look at the content on YouTube. It's all about entertainment. So all those dudes, those the, the, the guys, the guys that were in high school that the girls did not want because they were playing Dungeons and Dragons or or watching Naruto or uh, or, 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 or 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 learning about a variety or learning how to speak different languages. Or computer science geeks, those are the superstars in the world. Those are the people who have actual value. Look at society. The, you know, Tyrone and Tyrone, who just sat around, you know, with his blunt and 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 and, 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 and trying to, you know, make his SoundCloud raps, like trying to become a SoundCloud rapper. Where is he today? Where is he today? He's nowhere. All he's done is destroy these communities and then left children that he expects these black men to step up and take care of. Step up, dads. Get the heck out of here with that nonsense. Look at this comment that someone wrote. He said, it's amazing. He said, it's amazing 
women in the West don't compete, but other women went to get a man. They realize, they remind me of the dodo bird. Western women are like the dodo bird. It lost its ability to fly, its talons to fight, and sharp beak to tear tough meat. It was replaced by a massive size to scarce away possible predators. So what ended up happening? The dodo bird was replaced. It went extinct because it stopped competing. It stopped competing. It stopped fighting. It, it, it basically became, it basically was living in a, in a region where everything was provided. Oh, there's food here. There's this there. But guess what? As soon as the climate changes, as soon as, as, soon as predators arrive, it can no longer defend itself. It can no longer compete. And there's all, there's, there are all these other birds that can compete, that have that adapt. And women in Western society, they don't understand that there are all these women in the rest of the world that are ready to fight. They're ready to fight. There, I have a video video that I put on for you guys where it was from, Sor from Soraya, where she literally took a jab at black women in America and said that we'll snatch your man up. We will snatch your man up. And this is what they don't understand. These women will come to America. They'll come. They, listen to me. They, will, they don't have to come to America because the men are going to them. And they will take these men. They will take all of these men. Um, a country without its men is not a country. It's a wasteland. When the men of value walk away and go overseas and say, I'm done with women in Western society, and they just leave Chad and Tyrone, Chad and Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Miguel, Enrique, a little poncho to run wild in the streets, these countries fall apart. The men who provide and protect are leaving. They don't care anymore. And the women can sit there and say, they don't care, they don't care. G guys, the countries will fall apart. And before you know it, that's how you end up with Handmaid's Tale. And there's no, there's no, and in these societies, there's no crying. There's no, there's no, oh, this is, it's a dictatorship. That's how you end up under a dictatorship. Guys, I won't, it's, 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 I've said this before and I'll say it again. Nothing lasts forever. And women are creating a reality that they would never want to live in, but that's what they're doing. If you're enjoying this content, help me get to 100,000 subscribers. Let's fight. Let's get this channel to 100,000 subscribers and show them what we can do. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Let me know what you guys think regarding everything we've discussed here today. Black men have humbled black women. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWAM and walking away. And cheers.